Hi everybody, it's Peg and I've got a couple of things going on this month. First thing is I am headed to uh, Rosemont, Chicago area to take a class with Andy Skinner and Tracy Winesapple. It's called Ministry of Mixology. And one of the things about that is um, I'm working with paint and you all know I'm a messy girl. So I thought, well, I really need some clothing protection. So you'll see what I do about that as we progress here. The other thing is this month for Pick a Stick Challenge, one of the prompts says make your own stamp. Well, I've done a video for you and I'll link that so that you can see me making some stamps, but that was for an artist trading card. And now I'm going to be working on some larger surfaces. I'm going to uh, make some gear to take with me and I'm going to also uh, create a journal page for the Pick a Stick Challenge for the end of the month. So what I've done is I've gotten out some adhesive back foam and I've die cut a bunch of shapes and I've glued those onto some thicker fun foam just from the craft store and created stamps by doing so. I also have some stamps that are already foam stamps and so what I'm doing is I'm modifying some of these. This is the back side of a fun foam stamp. These are called foamies. And I thought, you know, we've, we've got two sides to this. I'm going to go ahead and create some other images using the back side. So what I have here is a fuse tool. They use these to fuse plastics together uh, when you're making pockets and things for scrapbooking and it's just hot enough that it melts this foam. Now you probably could use other tools. You could probably use a wood burner which would be hotter and so you'd have to move faster and not hold it to the foam as long but you know there are other ways that you can accomplish the same thing with some of the tools that you may own already. So now I'm just uh, painting one of those stamps that I created just to see what it's going to look like and I've got my drop paper and I can't see it very well on there so I'm moving to a clean spot <laughs> uh, just to see what I get and the image isn't coming out real clear so I thought well I'm going to grab my jelly plate and use that for a palette. You've seen me do this before. Use that for a palette for my paint to pick up the paint and uh, with my stamp and move it to the paper. Now the reason I do that is because you don't want this paint getting down into the crevices. Um, the thing about foam stamps, if you just take a paintbrush and put it right on there, it's going to fill all those crevices up and then you're not going to have the definition. So you really want to uh, find a way to apply the paint to the stamp and keep those open areas open. Now this is a palette that comes with the uh, foamy stamps and you can custom make your uh, stamp pad with your paint just by how you apply it to this uh, square and so what I've done is I've taken several colors and applied that to the it's, it's almost like, and I think you could probably use them, those um, paint spreaders. They're, they're like a pad that you get when you do painting walls and things. And it's got a little uh, fuzz to it. I'm going to get some and I'm going to try them just because I want to have more than one. When I do this, I want to have more than one palette of color created. And you can see I'm going back and forth and trying different things. Now, what I'm working on now is a sleeve. And you're saying, a sleeve of what? What are you doing? Well, this actually is a lab coat. And I thought, you know, I'm going to Mixology. 
I'm going to do a little lab work. And I'm bound to get paint on me somewhere, so I might as well start out painting, right? So I'm using my newly made stamp, and I'm just stamping up my lab coat to make it colorful, make it more me, right? Because you all know I like my color, and I like uh, having things that are different. So I'm just pulling out all kinds of things and going for it. Now I'm using the So Soft fabric paint. This is a Deco Art product. And when I'm not using that, I'm also adding the fabric medium to any other paint that I use on here. And they also have this little shimmery, glittery product that you can add to your paint too. So I'm adding a little bit of that because why not sparkle? <laughs> so I'm just going to continue playing with my ink, or not my ink, my paint, and my newly created stamps, and I'm going to decorate my lab coat. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. I'm just going to uh, continue making stamps and painting and doing things here, and you can watch or speed up or fast forward or whatever you want to do. I'll put some pictures at the end. And I'll probably be posting a few pictures to Instagram, maybe do a little video, I don't know, when we're at Mixology. Depends on how busy I get and how much fun I'm having, because, <laughs> you know, I just can't stop. So now I'm moving to the other side with different colors, and wow, I'm liking that. And okay, so that's about all I had to really tell you and uh, put on a little music and let you watch. <laughs> 